emails to mail. When I was working in school, I was sort of like a, a, a unicorn because the, they wanted masculine energy because I would be in a school and there would be like 200 teachers and out of those 200 teachers, there would be like five male. Wow, you know? female. Yeah, and yep, yep. they acknowledged that that was an imbalance, yeah. you know? But there's a reason why females tend to go down that path and they will get, go to that go down, 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 yeah. down path. And like, people can argue, well, this is to do with like social construction and things like that. But like, yo, you either can lift up that 100 kg of, of bricks or you can't. That's well, it is. It is. You have to let me engage with myself. There's always going to be exceptions, but like, you know, if you go according to the generalities. Oh yeah, no, no. And it, that's what I say. I don't. Yeah, I understand. But um, yeah, I think it's we kind of like really have to because also this is because I'm playing devil's advocate, yeah. There's also a problem in um in romanticizing tradition or reimagining tradition for what it was when it really wasn't that. So that's this like romantic view of like... Can you give me an example? Uh, let me give you an example. For example, uh, uh, I came across this fatawa, which was about this man in Egypt. It was in Egypt. And I'll reference it as well. It was in Egypt. And he basically was complaining about his wife going to to a bath like a public bath where there was like emos and stuff like that he didn't want that to happen so he went to the imam and he was like yo my wife she needs to listen to me i don't want her to go over there but like if i don't allow her then she might divorce me and i might create more problems you know and um the imam or the sheikh of, um he then issued the fatawa where the female was allowed or females were allowed to go to these baths in order to prevent divorce the reason why is it's contextual because um that is like we have documents that during the 15th century like 50 percent of the marriages in egypt were ending up in divorce right there was a very very high rate of divorce and and there was a sense of autonomy that females were able to initiate khula, right? This is something that is very uh, unique as well to Islam, that females, uh, from a religious point of view, that females are actually have the autonomy to initiate khula, whereas with the Jewish tradition, for example, they can't, you know? Um, so things like that put things really into context, or the amount of females that were actually in workforce during the Middle Ages. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's quite... I, I do want to make a point though. Yeah. I don't want to... And people will be like, oh, you're not very religious looking. Yeah. But I, I do think that um, kind of turning Islam into kind of trying to appease feminism. Like, yeah. oh, no, no, you know, look, women were liberated here. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, I understand. You have to be really careful yeah. because yeah. what's yeah. happening here, and I've seen this, because I have experienced quite a few people like, in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's happening here is that women are using using these, you know, like traditions and yeah. things, literature, yeah. to um, justify divorcing their husbands in a secular way. Does yeah, that make sense? yeah, absolutely. So basically taking half of his wealth yeah. automatically. Absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. Like, um, parental alienation, they're stopping them, but this is a yeah. couple. Yeah, yeah. Why aren't they divorcing? Yeah. It's like, why yeah. are they divorcing secularly? Absolutely, and, absolutely. Um, and she will tell you, oh, but it's not yeah. allowed to yeah. No, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually very, very against uh, religious people. Yeah. Secularly. Yeah. Because that goes against your belief. Absolutely. Uh, especially Absolutely. Especially with the family. Yeah. The family is under attack by everyone. Yeah. Them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and that's what I'm saying. So women get kind of. Yeah. They, they kind of get manipulated. Yeah. Their emotions yeah. are being exploited. Yeah. Uh, and then they go after their husbands. Thinking, yeah. This is my right. When actually it's the greatest thing. Yeah. Yeah. From my understanding. No, no, it and is. I know. I always say I don't look. You know, like no, it has nothing. I look into. I look into Sharia law, biblical law, yeah. secular law, yeah. yeah. And I just see an inconsistency here. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. I understand. Understand. Remember, I am talking from my independent uh, point of view. Yeah. I'm not uh, appeasing, <laughs> nor am I uh, against it for the reasons that majority of people are against it yeah. you know i'm against it because i have a 
uh, internal uh, way, a system of existing, which is Islam. In Islam, it doesn't matter whether the majority of people do a certain thing or don't do a certain thing. If it's within Islam, it is within Islam and it has to be acknowledged. Because sometimes, uh, what can also happen, and this has, uh, it happens sometimes, and you've seen it with certain individuals who were uh, propagating uh, particular beliefs that were actually in contrary with the behavior or the character of the Prophet Muhammad you know, the way they talk about women, for example, you know, you know, women are uh, like these just these entities that just produce babies and have no things like that, you know, or women shut up. I don't take advice from women. Women be in the kitchen. That's very alien also to Islam. You see? Are you talking about the tone of how it's been said? <laughs> Not the tone, but the ideas. The idea that, for example, uh, uh, that, you know, your masculinity is tied into how many women you have yeah. outside of your marriage. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually very much for polygyny. Huh? For, for polygyny. You're yeah, for polygyny. Okay. Yeah, of course. No, and, and I actually, it helps men to stop So in a way, it does make people mad. Yeah, but... But, but I, I know what you're saying. It's not, it's not this, I'm very against this kind of like smug, you know, bugger, I can have as many women as I want. Yeah, I'm talking about that. I'm not yeah, talking yeah. about marriage yeah. that entails responsibilities. Right, 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 yeah. When you have four women or three yeah. women or two women, you have to be... A it makes you more man because you have to be more responsible, of course. But I'm talking about this idea that if you're wealthy or you're powerful, that you have your wife over there, but you can still cheat and she's, she's supposed to be quiet about it. Yeah. Things like that. Is that, are you saying that, uh, so what's what perspective are you saying? A red pill, for example. Red pill, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. This is the only thing I kind of disagree with when it comes to red pill. Yeah. Because we should, this is where polygyny actually comes in. Yeah. Because women, if you want to, yeah. Like men, you know, their drives are higher. Yeah. So it's completely understandable if they want to be more than one woman. However, they need to marry her because if a child is yeah. born out of her, yeah. the child is it, it, yeah. it's such a messy and disorganized yeah. family yeah. structure. It's unfair. Yeah. So obviously the Islamic way makes the most sense. It does, it does. But that's what I'm going to say. It has to come from that point of view, yeah, where right. you come into the conversation confidently. I have my own traditions. I, I work accordingly. If you think that this makes me more, more masculine, but I know that it goes against my core principles, then I'm going to stick to my core principles. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like sometimes Muslims, unfortunately, because we're in the West, oh, well, my enemy's enemy is my enemy. So if we have like leftist people saying some outlandish things over there, and then there's this like right wing or what, right foot guy who kind of agrees to an extent with me that I kind of side with him. Yeah, no, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you have to be like very careful. That's why I'm more uh, for a, a balanced approach, you know? Um, uh, because I understand the, the, the extreme sides of it, and that's why you have to be very clear as well that. Look, I'm not saying all of this because I'm agreeing with feminists or because I'm trying to appease them. But like, um, yeah. 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 So, Sometimes, it's, but honestly with this, I don't see any gray area. Yeah. Feminism has always been that. This is, has yeah. always been the plan, in my opinion. Yeah. Because yeah. you know they say that the first wave of feminism, yeah. or whatever, yeah. all of it was leading up to this. Yeah. This when you give, it's like when they say you give the devil an inch, yeah. he will take, take it a mile. Yeah. And you know, yeah. like, which is right, so, okay, so the voting, okay, now we want to, you know, we want to have this privilege and that privilege to the point that you're just, yeah. men are being eclipsed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, that yeah. was the plan. Yeah. And you know what? We I, to get rid of it altogether. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is also very, it's such a Western thing, because if you, even, even if you think about how they build nations and they build empires, it's either with us or against us. It's also this like one extreme, they, yeah. they, they move, you know? And I think that permeates their politics as well. Um, and this is something as well I find very, very strange that uh, to, uh, so for example, I talked about this before, like there's this term in my language here, yeah, which means man, yeah? Mubali, right? And this term, um, it's not machoism, you know? Um, although machoism as well in its original and its original form is good. It means um, also caretaking, protection. And that male aggression is actually a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, it's, it's very um, unusual for us now because we live in 
a more relaxed environment and period of time. You know, we haven't had any big wars. Yeah. But reality, if you look at human history, aggression yeah. has been, you know, the day of the order. We won't be here yeah. because it will be aggressive. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, but yeah, the, the term Mubali here means, um, it's a t so the connotations, big connotations to do with like responsibilities. As a man, like your responsibilities, they say they make you ill because you're constantly worried about how am I going to take care of my family. You know? And if you don't worry about things like that, or you don't sort out these things, then then you're not fulfilling. Mubali, 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 yeah. Huh? If you're not worried about your responsibilities. If you don't worry about, you're not on Mubali. If you're not, if you're not uh, caring for your for your daughter, and you're caring for your son, and you're offering direction, then you're not. Yeah. I mean, and like we had, the, we had, the, we have. I think we had this problem in this uh, country um, 20 years ago when there was like loads of children growing up without dads. Yeah. You know. It only got worse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And these things again, you can't not deny. You know, these things. I don't know. There's no, like you say, gray area. No, gray, no, gray, gray area. Gray, gray, gray area. Really, feminism is a Marxist movement. Yeah. It is. It's the eradication. Of the family, yeah. the eradication of society, yeah. good structured society, which yeah. favors all. Yeah. They don't want that. I, lo I like that, I like that. I mean, a society true. that favors all. Yeah. That's good, that's good, I like that. But that's why they don't want it. Yeah, yeah. I like, so where's your journey in terms of, because you, you mentioned something, spirituality plays a huge role in, in what you do as well, right, and your beliefs. Oh, yeah. Like, right? Well, Creation, you know, the man and the woman is to procreate, yeah. carry on the human race. Yeah. Anything that is against that is yeah. against God, against the creator, against yeah. humanity, favor. I agree, I agree, I agree. Do you, but like, what, what would you say about these feminists to say, well, that isn't true? It's actually just about us females being, you know, represented and powerful also in society. Um, I mean, you you saw the thing with like the Me Too movement and things yeah. like that. A lot of rubbish. Okay. A lot of rubbish. Yeah. yeah. For example, I'll, I'll take, I don't know the statistics of the West, but let's just take it, kind of, the Me Too movement trickled into India. Yeah. Ninety percent of cases of false or of rape cases. Ninety percent of those reported to police turn out to be false. Okay. That's a huge number. Yeah. And yeah. that's why the Me Too movement, it's just, again, it's another thing to hijack uh, humanity and distract yeah. humanity from things that are really going on. Yeah. For example, yes, you know, women who are actually sexually assaulted, obviously that is uh, an abomination that's yeah. horrible to happen. And yeah. I, more than anybody, will, you know, be more compassionate and empathetic to this because I love men and women equally. Yeah. I don't favour my sex. A lot yeah. of things have been done in, in, uh, in the name of my sex. Abuse and theft and false rape and things, which I have suffered. You know, yeah. I've had people who, uh, I don't want to really go into it, but yeah, automatically sure. they've said, oh, I don't want to speak to you until a woman. Yeah. You've turned yeah. men yeah. into this. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, the evil thing about this is that families are happy. They're happy they've done that mm. because they brainwashed young girls and young women to eight men mm. and therefore men will hate women yeah. so you have this successful device yeah obviously it, 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 it should yeah. be there i'm calling yeah. it successful because this is the aim in yeah. the very beginning it wasn't yeah. about women's rights yeah it was about yeah. just like trampling over men yeah some of these some of these women had real like grudges disgust for men yeah and for boys innocent Mm. In the life. Yeah. A lot of people don't see this. You know? Yeah, um, you know, I, I wasn't really aware of this. Um, with, I wasn't aware of that. No, no, as well. no. no that, that's why it's yeah. a cult. It's a cult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, the very end, it's, yeah. it's, all of it's bad. We have yeah. to get rid of all of it. Yeah. What we should instill, and the thing I, I think it's missing is, um, see, this is when women and men, they kind of, they're in limbo. They need, you need to realize your higher purpose. Yeah. And that is to know the creator. Yeah. Whichever way you are on your journey, and yeah. I, I don't want to lecture people because I'm on my own journey. Yeah. But that, as soon as you acknowledge a creator, yeah. everything falls into place. All falls into place. Husband and a wife, yeah. family structure, all of it will make sense to you without yeah. you having trouble with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. From my experience, anyway. So. Uh, well, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Um, 
I'm so happy to have talked to you because it's quite, uh, it's quite, um, yeah, quite insightful. I, I did want to mention something as well. Though. Yeah. Um, you know, for example, you mentioned the Me Too movement. Yeah. That's become very famous and popular. Isn't yeah. It? However, one thing that hasn't become uh, famous and popular, and it should be, is the CMS, Child Facing Service. I don't know what that uh, is. So basically, it's like a, you know, like a child support. Child support. Yeah. 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 Men are literally the CMS. Basically, it's, it's something called the resident parents. So the resident yeah. parents are the one that stays with the child. Yeah. If she, most likely, is the mother, which is, she would say, "Oh, so and so has a new job, a better job." Yeah. And the court wouldn't even look at his evidence, saying that no, nothing's changed. Yeah. They would take the resident's words, the resident parent, the mother, as I think it's the truth, right? Yeah. Possible, without looking at the evidence. Yeah. This has happened to an actual man. Uh, his, his name is Gavin. What happened to him where they uh, right. like punitive kind of um, payments asking, yeah. you're making this much, this is how much you owe. Yeah. To the point where he was paying, I think, two and a half grand extra on what he was paying. He was left with £150 a month. A grown man to live on. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, the thing is, unfortunately, he committed suicide. Wow. And this is one case. Thousands and thousands yeah. of men are doing this because the CMS are doing this in this country. Yeah. This is a developed country in 2023 yeah. in the West. All that stuff. It's such a good country. This is a this is killing men. Yeah. It's a killing yeah. fathers. And this is actually a genocide. Yeah. Millions of uh, children are out uh, without fathers, and millions of fathers are without their children. Yeah. A lot of them, like I said, they end up killing themselves. Yeah. Now, yeah. now tell me, why don't people know this? I don't, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Because you know what it is. It's like. It's like as if we are still uh, this this grand claim of women's liberation yeah. uh, seems to outshadow everything that comes with it. That's what I'm you know, because even granted there are benefits to it to society. With anything, there's also like net benefits, like uh, negative. Um, um, so this is when the yeah. medicine, yeah. the medicine is worse than the so Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look, and another way you can see that some of us are false, not only are there, you know, the compassionate arguments false, but also detrimental. They're not doing anything about the CMS. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And another yeah. case I want to bring up, sorry, I know you... No, so, no, 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 please, and go ahead. Another thing I want to bring up, there's so many smoking guns, right? Of, yeah. Like, Massive. Uh, they highlight the hypocrisy, the inconsistency, and not stand for feminism. Yeah. Feminists. Another case is Afia Siddiqui. I'm sure you've yeah. heard of her. No, no feminist has ever mentioned her name. Nothing. They have. They, they, they have billions of corporations. Yeah. Feminists, right? Yeah. They have all these really fancy, really like the graphics are on point, everything. They are more than capable yeah. to speak on Afia Siddiqui and actually get her out. Yeah. If they want to. Yeah. They haven't. But this, this is where the intersection of feminism comes in right that's where like black feminists and you know uh, South Asian feminists realized hey hold on similar like you were saying that uh, the feminists of the first wave weren't really campaigning for the yeah, working class the, we, history repeats itself and then black feminists are like hold on these white women are not talking for me they're just talking for themselves exactly. like so it's very similar to that right exactly. um, yeah, so she's not the right kind of shade. She has a no, no. She's a woman. She's a woman of color. Yeah. She's being held. She, yeah. she was kidnapped. Her baby boy was killed. Yeah. Custody. And she's she's not even an American citizen. Yeah. She's a Pakistani national in uh, yeah. being held in Texas. Yeah. Uh, Till this day. Yeah. Fifteen years and her bottom teeth are missing. Oh my days. Because of the torture. So this is a woman and she's shorter than me. She's around like five foot. Yeah. This, this is crazy. The, yeah. the feminists should be out on yeah. the streets. Yeah. But no, what do they do? They do their stupid topless uh, parades or whatever. Yeah. Perhaps, or, 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 or very passionate. This just shows, if anyone was here at home thinking they have uh, uh, any soft spot for feminism, they are an evil cult yeah. looking to destroy not only men, but women. Yeah. Women who they see as pretty peasants, you know, working class, women of colour as well. Yeah. Yeah. There are plenty of white, white yeah. women yeah. who yeah. are Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen, it, this has been uh, anyway, very sorry. insightful. No, it hasn't been. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate your your critical thinking uh, and also asking me and questioning me with certain things. Um, uh, um, um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think this is an ongoing conversation, and we have to find unique ways of like. Uh, 
talking about this, you know, because I like the the the, the backlash that uh, or the response. The response. I like the response because it can't just be uh, one person talking. There has to be two people talking so that we can discern who's speaking the truth or not. Um, but yeah, I would I would just say that really bring in something where like yo and i think it's already kind of happening with a lot of people in, in different areas when it comes to religion of islam the people are like yo i like the muslims because when it comes to their religion or when it comes to like things that believe in they're very adamant they're, they're very proud of it you know like we don't really have that any longer in the west or wherever like people are starting to realize that tradition is important yeah. tradition is absolutely important uh, for the future, in fact, yeah. you can't go into the future. Tradition, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't even. I don't. Yeah. I don't call myself a traditional wife. Yeah. So we have to know. Yeah. I'm just yeah. a normal woman. Yeah. Yeah. I hate. Yeah. It. I'm a modern woman. I'm traditional. No. Yeah. You just yeah. Feel what's intrinsically it comes easy to you. Yeah. 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 With tradition, what I mean here is just like things that worked in the past yeah, I get it. that are going to work in the future too. Yeah. You know. Like it's uh, reinventing the wheel. It's uh, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, But yeah, anyway. But no, thank you so much. Thank you. Want to say yeah, that please go ahead. Muslim women are under attack by stealth okay. because they're trying to yeah. get them to rebel against their husbands. I don't yeah. have to. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. Using Quran and Sunnah. So you, yeah. there's a lot of like compassionate imams yeah. who are trying to like yeah. favor. Fa this is this is bad. And yeah. to me, I mean, it's got your police all over it. I don't know. And I'm I'm saying. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think that the, the cloth is gonna determine how you view the world. Yeah. Yeah. So women, I think Muslim women need to understand that they're actually they're prime because really Islam is so strong. Yeah. And look, if you if you uh, manipulate and poison the women, they will stop having children. If yeah. You destroy family, you destroy Islam. That's what they're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just saying maybe that's something to bear in mind. Uh, women are under sure. Especially Muslim. Women. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Yeah, so this was a very uh, liberating conversation about uh, feminism and uh, what I forgot, Ash Shahara, I believe, I believe her name was, uh, believes that there are definitely problems with feminism. Like there's problems with any, uh, uh, you know, any culture, any uh, ideology that human beings uh, produce. Yeah, thank you very much. That's love. I said to Maria and leave it there.